I was talking about Laurel and Hardy. I was talking about compartmentalizing. And then I kind of fell off the wagon. Oh, uh, well, that's hardly a shocker. And thank you, all of them. So I think I should wrap this up. This is going to be an hour long, and I'm, I'm sure I'll cut a bunch of shrivels off the old turnpike there. I guess I was just talking mostly about my mental stuff and related, uh, tangentially related stuff. And... Uh, so now in the morning, instead of being online because I can't connect to this place, uh, which in many ways is not bad, um, and it's close to a dumpster that's really nice, um, and we have our privacy, I suppose, uh, except that we share a bathroom with the whole floor, um, and it's often occupied, so that's a bit of an irritation. Uh, and also the walls are... Terribly, terribly thin. Um, if if I'm working at, at the little fold-out TV table, which serves as a desk, there, it's it's against the wall. And if someone bumps into the wall on that side, I feel the desk move. Um, when someone is walking on the stairs, I can. Um, now that may not be surprising uh, for people who live in a wooden house, but uh, where I live, um, they use concrete to build with uh, for a solid house. So there were earthquakes and, and typhoons and stuff. They've got to be tough, uh, and so you know that doesn't happen so much. They they built them solid and sturdy and. Uh, Hefty and what's the other one? Burly is another one. I like that word. Um, gosh, I love words. I love words. Glorioski. Um, and I'm sure that'll be part of other things I do. I'm still kind of introducing myself, I suppose. I didn't want to do too much at once. Uh, oh, by the way. Um, as far as wordplay goes, I'm interested in palindromes and, uh, and anagrams, some board and labs, and things like that. Um, also acronyms, uh, fun. Um, and I just noticed that the name, this is a Japanese brand, we usually in America would say Nikon, but it's not, it's not the Japanese pronunciation at all. And uh, I noticed that uh, spelled backwards, it's almost Nokia, uh, which is, by the way, also, a, I believe, a Japanese company. Uh, it's, it's neither here nor there, but um, just interesting. So I, um, ever since my dad told me that Subaru spelled backwards is you are a bus. That delighted me, and ever since then I've been interested in palindromes and uh, gosh, oh boy. I've spent days working on palindromes and, uh, some modern labs and such. Uh, good, really. Especially during my doctorate studies when I couldn't focus on the thesis or on my classes, I was working on palindromes and some more than that. Gosh, gosh, I really, really had a good time with that. I, for example, thought of a uh, a purveyor of handkerchiefs uh, named S. Gartens. I love words and wordplay so much, and it's inexhaustible fascination for me. Okay, well, I think it's enough for the moment, uh, although I may want to talk again soon. It's nice to have, be able to talk to someone and use, like, real vocabulary words, and not just, you know, the, the, you know, 500 most common words in English. I'm looking at a, a milk of magnesia colored refrigerator here. Probably under the influence of Hello Kitty. That Hello Kitty scares the dickens out of me. Oh my god. This this cat with eyes. 
I think I think no eyebrows usually, except in the cartoon, which is which is also frightening in a different way. Uh, uh, a nose that's not connected to any mouth, and I must scream. Uh, Harlan Ellison reference. Uh, <laughs> Repent, Harlan. Although, interestingly enough, um, I have no mouth, but I must scream. And it's, I think it's the paperback cover, I believe. Uh, it was a meme for some reason or other. Uh, so were the Dover Boys for a brief period. The Dover Boys were the meme of the day for a little while. My God. That being one of mine and my family's, uh, my, my nuclear family's uh, original favorite cartoons. A standalone comic where they were playing actually I think mostly for the animators with with uh, blurs of, of movement rapid movement uh, using these uh, in-betweener uh, uh, smear kind of animation I don't know to sh to to indicate a blurry uh, or streak of fast movement um, and it but but the whole thing is brilliant the 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 entirety of the piece is wonderful, um, and I still need to I need I need to find out who the narrator for that was. It's a parody of the Stratemeyer's uh, uh, syndicate's uh, uh, Rover Boys uh, novels, if you want to call them that. Um, Tom, Dick, and Larry are the names of the boys. <laughs> but the narrator is so good! And he's the same one who did the goofy uh, narration, the how to this and how to that um, videos, I believe. I'm, I'm convinced that it's the same actor. Uh, and he is just marvelous. And he is so jocular in that. He says, hold on, what's this? And he... he See, see, the way he, the, the delivery there was so good because he uses the same kind of smear uh, in a vocal way that the animators were doing with the in between shots. And Wasis is uh, so right for that. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Uh, by the way, the, the soundtrack album does not have that, that take. It says, isn't it? And it's, it's so wrong. They shouldn't have done that. Because Pat Carroll did a marvelous job on that. Oh, lordy low. I love voice actors so much. So good. It makes me want to listen to some cartoons again. All right, now. Uh, I think it's it's really time for me to stop jabbering around. Um, before I go and tangentially kind of related, uh, is, um, a sometime voice actor. I'd like, uh, like to pose Hayward, uh, uh, I like the word sometime as an adjective to describe something that is occasional. Um, the sometime voice actor... Alfred Yankovic, uh, whom I loved uh, in a very pronounced way, uh, sometimes a mispronounced way, I'm sorry, but uh, Nature Trail to Hell was the song. Uh, but I can't recall right now whether... What? I, I don't know. I, I, but what would I have been doing? You know, we get the Water Sister singing back up on that. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful recording, by the way, and a early, pretty early one, too, of Al's. Um, but there's nothing really I could have done. Uh, now, one more minute uh, from the next album, Dare to Be Stupid, which was my very first album purchase uh, of an LP. Uh, the first one, my first album I bought was Dare to Be Stupid in the 1980s, and what a treasure, what a treasure. 
I speak sincerely. Uh, I really, uh, well, it's ma magnificent. Uh, and one more minute is, is uh, you know, they had the boys in the band uh, singing back up in that. Um, and I did that with Richard and Stephen. I think we used one more minute a couple of times or three times or something. We won second place a couple of times with that song. Um, whether I was the singer, I think sometimes I was the singer, the, the lead. Um, I've been a barbershopper, by the way. I just mentioned that because uh, I used the word lead. Um, not lead vocals, but the, the second tenor part. I can't remember the specs right now, um, but gosh, that was that was wonderful. Uh, and then later with Stephen, we did a little video. I don't know if we ever edited it together, but we did a video for the checks in the mail by by Al again uh, from in 3D. I th think it was, or just the. the I've never spoken this word out loud before. The self-titled uh, is eponymous, eponymous, hippopotamus. No, that's wrong. Uh, um, or eponymous. I, I don't know how people say that word. Uh, but the self-titled album, I'm trying to say. <clears throat> By the way, just a little linguistic, maybe, note. Um, people who say kilometer uh, as their way of saying that particular word, uh, I think I think it's a little illogical, which is okay. Language is not always logical, I know. If, if we assume that the prefixes like kilo or centi or deca <clears throat> are you know meaningful then to say kilometer would suggest that the root word is kala which don't make no sense it's kilo kilo meter and we would we would not say centimeter would we no we would say centimeter because it's a, or in in my case uh, for my channel pentameter but shouldn't that I've always said it that way ever since I started saying that word and I do a lot now because I'm an English teacher lit teacher um, but shouldn't that be pentameter instead of pentameter because penta like a Pentium processor uh, or a pentangle or, or you know it means five and it's not penta <laughs> right uh, so and anyway I'm just I'm common usage is king I know I know but surely background at least ought to be the vice regent or something like that you know someone with authority as well and you can't have just one person in the government. I think Queen is a better choice though, because, you know, women are smarter, more reasonable people. In the main, and I remember the main, yes, that was a good, that was a well-written line in Pee-wee's Big Adventure. You know the one I mean, right? Uh, anyhow, uh, I've been saying for almost half an hour now that I need to stop, and I I should stop, so I'll stop. So, guys, uh, guys, gals, and to quote Thomas Sanders, non-binary pals, um, respect that. I respect them for saying that. Um, I wish you all a good day. Be well. Try to be calm. Feel peaceful. Hope you hear some good news today, something that will make you smile. And uh, with my warmest regards, I sign off as Anna. Take care. And I will just reach over here and say the little magic word. If you say this magic word, you'll suddenly become rich. And the word is...